For this year, it's gonna be my joshiest year ever. <laughs> well, it's another year and another thing that's way too big to fit on the bench. Does anybody else feel like these builds just really just come together in the last few days? I hope that's not the case this time. <laughs> I don't have friends. I have family. It's the best Vin Diesel you're gonna get out of me. <laughs> you know, leave it to Axial to release something in January when there's 30 inches of snow on the ground. It's gonna make that running video a lot harder to do. Josh keeps talking about how 60 plus days isn't enough. I think that's so many. <laughs> Until I realize that it's not. <laughs> Sometimes it's measure three times and print four times. Oh, you caught me during tire rotation day. From here on out, it's all easy street. <laughs> hmm. You know, I just checked, and the last time I did a video was October of 2020. So it's almost like we're now doing a series for the throwback to the throwback. It's big, it's bad, and I'm a basher now. <laughs> if you have a shop somewhere between Toronto and Alabama, let me know, because I'm going to need to paint on my way down. <laughs> it's new, but it's also, like, not new. <laughs> well, I've got a week before I leave. Maybe I should start another build. <laughs> it's not often that I have to go back on my word. But it does happen. Well, they survived. Sort of. <laughs> if it performs half... As good as it looks, I think we're about 60% there. <laughs> well, it's been four months. The ground is finally thawed. It's time to get muddy. Sometimes in order to move forward, you need to move backwards and then jut out in all kinds of different directions. <laughs> Lately, all the trucks I've been finishing are green. Coincidence? Yes. It's small, it's nimble, and it's got a lot more letters than the alphabet. Well, I can honestly say I've never decided to stress myself out so much in such a short amount of time. While you might be able to charge at 15 amps, I highly recommend you don't charge at 15 amps. Scale building is building some truck with leaf springs, just so you know how bad it can actually be. It's always a good day when it's the Tamiya way. <laughs> it's like, it's a slogan now. You know, it probably would have been easier if I had just started with a truck I already had. <laughs> what was once just a good looking functional 4x4RC model is now a great functioning RC model. <laughs> well, it's a truck. <laughs> Both require a remote, both run on batteries, both are a lot of fun, but only one requires you to wear a helmet. <laughs> the fun haver is dead. Long live the no fun haver. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this without this. As if I didn't have enough stuff going on already. <laughs> uh, I guess it's pretty big. I've been very busy making it rain. Styrene dust. The best on the market just got better. Or worse, depending on who you are. <laughs> another week, another episode of What's on the Bench. Which is good, because it's a weekly show. Is there room for another small RC on the market? Yes, because they're small. <laughs> I don't think there's anything more satisfying. Then again, I don't get out much. <laughs> a long time ago, I suggested that Traxxas do a simpler version of the TRX-4, something like the TRX-4 Sport, and then they did it. And then I converted a TRX-4 into a mud truck, 
And now they've done that too. So now I want them to make me a flying car. <laughs> Big news, the deadbolt is now blue. And whatever that color is back there. <laughs> well, that's done. <laughs> no intro for this one. <laughs> Well, it's 10 weeks in, and I'm still doing it every week. That's not motivation, that's discipline. Ken Block and I have a lot more in common than you might think. His number is 43. I was once 43 years old. He's crashed a car, I have also crashed a car. And neither of us have ever won a World Rally Championship. <laughs> now you can have your taco and eat it too. Sometimes there's going to be a week on this show where I catch up on projects that I've completely forgotten I was supposed to do. This is one of those weeks. <laughs> now I was told if you plant one of these in the backyard, it'll grow into this. <laughs> it's a rolling that's what she said. <laughs> when I saw it on OfferUp, I had to buy it. <laughs> the good news is if you buy one of these and your wife finds out, you have a box you can live in now. Nice to have trucks that fit on the bench again. This episode is all about two yellow trucks, which on its own sounds kind of boring. <laughs> I don't think there's anything quite as satisfying as opening a giant oversized box that's got something really cool in it. If I act a bit like a goofball for this episode, this is why. <laughs> Boy, you go away for two weeks and you realize you didn't do anything for those two weeks, so there's nothing to do on the bench. Sometimes things in small packages can be very good. I tell my wife that all the time. It's my worst one yet. <laughs> you know, I think this large scale thing is really starting to catch on. I'm so tired, I don't have anything really funny to say. Except, people bopple. This is incredible. What a day. What a day. Don't have the best of luck in these speed-based challenges. But I'm fully joshing this one, so I think I've got a chance. You know, I usually think of all of these cold opens in the shower. They're my shower thoughts. Unfortunately for you today, I didn't have a shower. <laughs> Spoiler alert! If you have not yet watched the Monthly Mayhem V-Speed Phoenix Challenge yet, then do not watch this episode. There's a ton of spoilers, including this one back here. <laughs> not once will I ever say, not another Toyota! because Toyotas are awesome. You might remember such areas uh, from such videos as a Capra going off cliff. If you saw me at Proline by the Fire and I was hanging out in the back of the element booth, we were back there trading recipes. <laughs> if I could not get sick for like three weeks in a row, that would be really awesome. <laughs> 20 episodes into this show and not a single mention of how I made this knife. I... This episode is going to be like an episode of Extreme Makeover, because the model is about the same age. You know, instead of the Mashigan, I probably would have called this the Toledone. <laughs> you know, I've built some pretty weird stuff in my day, but I think this one takes the cake. It's no joke, it's just weird. <laughs> I think you'll get charged up, or amped, <laughs> by this stuff. I've got a milli and new reasons to share this stuff with you. It's a smart choice to make. I can't. I can't. Roll it. <laughs> this episode actually is brought to you by. 